every movie has random trivia. And here at Trivial Theater, I explore some of these movies and the random circumstances that make them the weird creations that we love. Arr, hold on to your booty, because this is Ice Pirates. Oh god, that was so cringy. Okay, how to explain this movie? I mean, this pretty much covers it, right? I guess it is kind of vague. Uh, let's see what I can add. We find ourselves in the distant future, where water is such a scarce resource that it's valued more highly than gold, and controlled by a group called the Templars, led by a guy in a funny hat. The titular ice pirates raid a Templar cargo ship in a truly old-school pirate manner, but they're ultimately captured. After nearly losing their family jewels, they're saved by a princess they formerly tried to abduct. Captain Jason, his right-hand man Roscoe, Princess Karina, and their multi-crew proceed on an epic, if not strange, quest for the biggest prize of them all, a planet rich in water that will break the Templars' control over the galaxy, and more importantly, make them rich beyond their wildest dreams. The problem? The famed seventh planet has never been reached, and is considered more myth than fact. After a bar fight, a whole ton of 80s special effects, and a Templar leader in an even bigger, funnier hat, we reach the seventh world to discover, spoilers, it's Earth. Cut to gazing in awe and roll credits. On every level, Ice Pirates feels like a weird supercut of every single concept thrown out in a writer's room. I don't care if you're talking about major plot points or secondary character costumes. The base story is basically Jason and the Argonauts, but the overriding plot feels like a combination of Star Wars, Mad Max, and 1950s pirate movies. And that's just the main plot. There's a shit ton of other random stuff, including a subplot about space herpes, and another about a random head who is both an S&M aficionado and a dictator. Neither one of these has any real bearing on the story, and only serve as humorous side notes. I guess. Let's talk costumes. Most of the time, costumes are meant to give you insight into the characters that wear them, a subtle visual cue that reinforces who the person is. Ice Pirates bashes you over the head with this point. Hey, this is a pirate. Check out the tight pants and cavalier boots. Is it clear he's a pirate? This is a nanny character. Can you tell by her 18th century maid outfit? Where do you even get lace in the future? Admittedly, this tends to be a very silly movie, and it fully acknowledges that point. Some of the humor hits, but most of it honestly falls into the cringe column. For instance, there's a robot that has the android equivalent of the shit scared out of him. Funny, I, I guess? So there is one scene that honestly made me laugh out loud. At one point, in the distant future, surrounded by all this futuristic shit, there is a Templar climbing a regular extension ladder. Like, they couldn't even paint it black, so it didn't stand out like a sword thumb it's just like here's an extension ladder okay movie you do you this movie is very much the result of big ideas and not enough cash the initial budget was slashed from 20 million down to eight thanks to studio cuts with that in mind i was surprised by the amount of known actors angelica houston john carradine bruce Villanch, and robert urich this is also ron perlman's first film there are moments where you almost get whiplash as the story jumps between comedy and tragedy at one point near the end we see the crew age rapidly, but there isn't even a passing thought about it. In fact, the whole sequence is sped up to show the passage of time. They just kind of look down, realize what happened, and carry on. The thing is, half of what makes scenes like that enjoyable is the overstated reaction. Ice Pirates throws so much at you in terms of silly moments, double entendres, and general goofiness, it's hard to keep up. A lot of it was lost on me because it came at you so fast. The whole last act feels like it had a movie's worth of stuff shoved in. All I can think is that they realized how much they had to tie up before the end of the film and just crammed it all in, while cutting anything that was extra. All this said, there are places where this movie does big things right. There's a time travel sequence where they age based on how fast they travel. It's a cool concept I hadn't seen done that way in a movie before. Although, like most everything else, it's done in an incredibly goofy 80s way. Ice Pirates does follow the trend of non-traditional casting, adding a little bit of diversity. Roscoe, Jason's second-in-command, saves the day multiple times, and Maida is pretty badass too. Also, despite being ripped pretty much straight from Star Wars, the cantina scene is probably the best conceived sequence in the movie, giving a glimpse of what might have been done with a proper budget. All in all, it's an interesting sci-fi spoof, but the 80s were absolutely chocked full of them, and I'm not sure Ice Pirates did anything memorable enough to stand apart from the rest. Ultimately, Spaceballs did it better. Special thanks to Ryan at the Coolness Chronicles for the interesting suggestion. His podcast is pretty awesome, and it's well worth your time. You'll find a link to his site in the description. So what do you think? Any suggestions for movies? Any trivial questions? Comments, ratings, and a cure for space herpes would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so very much for watching.